Hello viewers. Today I'm going to cut this piece of uh, it was sold to me as yellow obsidian and that's all I know about it and it's really not much yellow in it. It's mostly clear. It may have a hint of yellow but uh, anyway uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it see what I can do with it and I'm going to be cutting this pinwheel design I've never tried this one before but I think I can do it okay and it is uh, for an angle, a refractive index angle of 1.5, which is a quartz angle, and this is probably the same thing as this, really close, so this will work okay for this. But anyway, that's what it'll look like. Hopefully it'll be quite brilliant and fun to look at. Okay, I'm going to preform this preform it a little bit and uh, then get started. Okay, I've dropped the stone and I'm ready to cut. Did a little rough preforming. Okay, I've cut the girdle facets. There's eight girdle facets on this stone. And I'm cutting, I'm cutting with the 260 lap. Okay, we have the first tier cut. We have four more tiers to go. Okay, this is the second tier. You can see I'm working it down to the girdle line. I'm using a 360 lap, so I'm not going to work all the way down and have a meet point. I'm going to stop before the points meet, so I can use a 600 and a 1200 and not overcut the facets. Okay, I've cut four tiers out of five, and I've used a 600 lap. So now I will change to the 1200 lap, recut all four tiers, and then cut the last tier, the very small ones, using the 1200. So I've left room on the first tier there, so I can. Uh, have plenty of uh, room to cut with the 1200 because there is some scratching on those first first and second tier I have some scratching from the coarse lap so I need to clean all that up so I need to leave room so I can clean that up and not overcut the girdle area okay I've finished all the facets for the pavilion with the 1200 lap and I can now go straight to the cerium oxide lap and polish.
The stone is now polished completely, so we'll go ahead and uh, do the stone transfer. Okay, the stone has been transferred and uh, we'll let it dry. Let the glue dry. Okay, the gemstones transferred to the new dot stick and I'm ready to start cutting the crown. So let's get started. Okay, I've started cutting the eight crown facets and I'm using the 260 lap. I'm going to have to go back over everything with a 600 and on down. I've just about got my girdle size to where I want. Of course it'll be a little smaller because I'm going to use the 600, the 1200, the 3000. Using the 600 lap, I've cut all four tiers of facets now for the crown here. So I'll keep moving along. Uh, I'll use the 1200 lap next. All right, I'm cutting with the uh, 1200 lat, and I'm working on the third tier of facets. This is the final polishing. And then I have to cut the table and the stone will be finished. Okay, I'm cutting the table. I'm going to start with the 600 grit lap and move to the 1200, then the 8000 pre polish. This is the final step, polishing the table. The stone is now finished, so I'll take the stone off the top and we'll clean it up. See what it looks like. It's very brilliant. Looks like it came out pretty nice. I'll clean it up some more. Okay, here's the pinwheel design. This obsidian makes a pretty brilliant gemstone.
Okay, let's weigh this gemstone. 19.19 19 carats even. 19.19. 